When we are all trying to beat the heat, we are encouraged to exercise at cooler times of the day, morning and night. But that is also the case for snakes. They are most active at dawn and dusk. It's one of the top things people fear in the world. Just getting to see you today, and I had three different calls. A Southern Pacific rattlesnake, up close, ready to strike. That is a classic, I'm agitated, don't come any near. Snake wrangler Bruce Ireland had just removed this beauty from a backyard in Carlsbad and will now release it back into the wild. If you were to be bitten by a snake with a head, this, oh, he just struck. So if you were to get bit, of course, call 911 right away and head to the hospital. But easier said than done, also try to stay calm. If you panic, it can increase your heart rate and accelerate the spread of venom. So although this rattler was agitated, maybe scared or confused, Ireland tells me snakes are misunderstood. They're not out to chase us and hurt us, and this is their natural environment. We met at a trailhead in Solana Beach, where he told a group of us snakes will spend this hot day in the shade hiding in bushes under rocks or wood piles. They're cold blooded, so they do use the sun to warm up. But when it gets hot, they're not going to be laying on the trail when it's 80 degrees out. They will overheat. They may also venture into your backyard looking for water. Speaking of, they can swim. Here's Dr. Anna Bosch at San Diego Humane Society's Project Wildlife. Lots of snakes swim and they're quite good at it. They do keep their head above um, and then they just cool. slither through the water. If you're above the body of water, right, if I'm cliff diving, jumping in, there's a nice waterfall, like there are so many here, definitely want to get a good surveillance of everything that's going on before you take that leap. So while they're just trying to cool off, she tells me extreme heat can cause rattlesnakes distress, potentially making them more aggressive. It also changes their hunting habits. So if you come across one, just give it space and move away slowly. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Working for you, Jenny Day, CBS 8.